It is time to talk all things ACC tournament. Amanda Ferguson, Eric Chilton here. The tournament is back in Greensboro this year. I'm so excited. This is, I mean, this is my favorite time of the year sports-wise. Uh, March Madness and ACC tournament for people that are born and raised here doesn't get any better. Yeah, and it's good because the last time it was here was kind of still COVID, so people were still wearing yes. masks and it was kind of rules. So now it's the first time in a few years where it's just ACC tournament back to normal. And it's kind of the Wild West this year when it comes to favorites because there are a lot of good teams that are kind of right in that first five or six listed. And that's, yes. that's the best part that's of very cool. all this. We'll see what happens. So the bracket is now set. Let's uh, dive into this here. But first, we're going to show you the court. This is the Greensboro Coliseum. It is completely transformed from the women's tournament that we had here just last week to the men's. So no Carolina teams on the first day. It's going to be Florida State, Georgia Tech in that first game. Boston College, Louisville the next game. Virginia Tech, Notre Dame the game after that. So in those first games, and obviously a lot of those people are saying, well, we'll just see, you know, how they do. Um, I want to say, I mean, Louisville's had the worst year that I've right. seen. Probably I've ever seen them have. Um, but Virginia Tech, you know, once in a while, they'll kind of pop out a decent game here and there, and I think they're one to watch. I also think Notre Dame's a pretty good team. They, they can be. Uh, Florida State, that's my team. That's your team. Uh, not so, they're not doing so well. Up and down. You know, they've had some good performances, but they can't keep a consistent flow going, it seems like. I really, to me, my underdog is not in that first round, but um, Pitt is one that I think people, oh. that we should watch. Because they started out really good, kind of trailed a little bit here and there, but they have the talent to surprise people. Clemson, same thing. Yeah, Pitt is a sneakily good team. So let's get into... Our teams, our Carolina teams that we won't see till Wednesday. Number nine, Wake Forest, taking on number eight, Syracuse, Wednesday in the first game of the day. Now, this is a matchup fresh in the Demon Deacons' minds. Deeks ending the regular season against the Orange. They lost it on the road. While his guys prepare to face them again, head coach Steve Forbes tells us his thoughts on the tournament. When, when I think about the ACC tournament and coming where I come from, and that's the Midwest, I would associate that with Greensboro. And I'm one of the traditionalists. I like the same thing over and over and over. And I think that people enjoy coming to Greensboro and going to the tournament. It's a rite of passage, you know, places to eat, places to stay. You know, um, I like it. I think it's a great place, the best place to have it, you know, selfishly, because I can we can ride over there in the bus. I did um I will tell you this, they asked me um at the ACC Media Days this year what my what well, my memory of the AC tournament was growing up, and I said I don't have any because I didn't watch it because it wasn't on television in Lone Tree, Iowa, you know. And so I don't have probably the same memories that everybody else has, but um, I do think Greensboro is the best place to have it. What a funny guy. <laughs> I mean, I, and I, I agree. I mean, Greensboro obviously located right in the middle of the whole thing. It's interesting. People think that for Carolina State and Duke and Wake, that Greensboro is like home court. You right. Know. So a lot. It's uh, to me. There's a little bit of an advantage there for the, one of the big four, as we used to call them back in the day, to play in Greensboro. The other three, four, the three of the four coaches there used to playing on the court. Not as much Steve Forbes, True. but I mean, it is practically home for him in Winston Salem, and he's got a lot of good players. Look, this isn't the team. I I don't think they wanted to be this year. I mean, their goal is to always win those big games, those big quad one games and they haven't done everything they needed to do to make the NCAA tournament but this is a really good wake team really good Appleby to me is the best I love to watch that guy play he's super fast quick release uh, great point guard not sure if he's going to be like probably too small for NBA superstar but you never but right. in real play I just think but that's the guy I think as he goes so do the Demon Deeks I mean look the ACC has a ton of great players but Tyree Appleby yeah I, he's one of my favorites I think he's going to be so fun in this tournament he's going to be explosive he's going to be he's dangerous for every team that faces Wake Forest in this yeah it's going to be good so next team we're going to talk about Duke here we won't see John Shire and his guys until Thursday. D Duke getting the four seed, taking on either Pitt, Florida State, or Georgia Tech at 2.30. The Blue Devils playing its best basketball right now, ending the regular season on a six-game winning streak. Shire telling us his thoughts on playing in Greensboro. Yeah, Greensboro is a special place for the ACC. It's a special place in my heart, like you mentioned, my senior year. Uh, we won the ACC tournament there. We've played in other tournament games and other regular season games there. I think it's a great sports town. I think it's a 
you know, city that loves basketball, uh, especially the ACC. And so for us to be able to go there, it means a lot. Uh, it's uh, we've had some moments where we've lost there, but it's been a special environment and definitely a special uh, city to, to host the ACC tournament. I mean, you said it. Six games, finish the season, six games, winning streak. They're probably arguably the hottest team uh, in the ACC as far as the, their strength and building toward the end. Miami is, to me, the number one team oh, in the yeah. conference right now, uh, the one to beat. But, you know, even – this is funny. Caesars odds makers, the guys at Caesars, mm -hmm. they have – you would think Miami, UVA, in that order that they finished, the Clemson, that that be – no, they're picking Duke to win the ACC tournament first, best chance. Then they put UVA second, then Miami, and then Carolina. <laughs> so they went, the, the odds makers are kind of shuffling things up a little bit, but Duke is playing really well. Filipowski, incredible player, will be an NBA guy. And um, I, I mean, they're, they're playing their best ball. Yeah, he's won rookie of the week uh, like nine times now, I think. So he's a good player. Yeah, just like you said, they are playing their best basketball right now. John Shire doing a heck of a job in his first year. Yep. They're undefeated inside Cameron Indoor in his first year. That's an incredible stat. Um, also, yeah, I think that they are going to be a threat in this tournament. Like you mentioned, Miami and Virginia, they're the two co-leaders yes. in the tournament or in the ACC standings. But Duke is second. Duke is, well, third, but technically yeah. second because of the co-leaders. So well, in Miami and, and UVA sharing the regular season title. That's only happened twice for Miami ever. This is kind of unknown territory to them. Only twice to be the number one seed. So it's a lot of pressure for them. So Duke, Duke can go far. They can. We will see. All right, now to the seven seed, North Carolina facing either Boston College or Louisville Wednesday at 7 p.m. The Tar Heels ending the regular season with a loss to Duke at home. More losses than they expected this season. They're 19 and 12 overall. The team clearly frustrated throughout this entire season. And I mean, I think that was the main thing last year that we all bought into uh, each other um, as a team and we blocked out the outside noise, what was being said. And, um, you know, and that's the, the main thing right now. I think that's what's you know, kind of is holding us back. There's something holding us back as a team just to take the next step and to be the team that, um, you know, we came back for. It's not but, over. Not over. <laughs> All right, you know, coming from a Carolina yeah. guy, let me just say this. Uh, Greensboro is like playing at home for North Carolina. They always have huge, probably the biggest crowds in Greensboro mm -hmm. um, of, of any of the other big four schools. But it, it, they, they have not shown up, right? No. It's little spikes, big dips, little spikes, big dips. And um, this is it. Backs against the wall. I hear a lot of talk of if they could get – uh, to the championship game and not even win it, they might still make the tournament. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, if you win the whole thing, you get in. But um, this is probably the most pressure that they've seen in a long time. It's plus, only one guy different from last year's team that went to the national championship. It's, it's uh, a lot of pressure. Probably the most pressure of any team in the ACC right now to perform is Hubert Davis and that, that squad. For sure. And I think this is the talk around <clears throat> arguably the entire the NCAA. What will Carolina do? Will they make the tournament or not? And I think it's so fascinating that this is a team that essentially all these guys went to the Final Four, went to that championship game, preseason number one, and they're in this spot? Yeah, the chemistry is just, is just not there. And a lot of people, I mean, you look at them, if they hit threes, they'll win. If they're not hitting threes, they do not win. And that's the problem. I mean, I think Caleb Love has just been, he just hasn't been consistent. I watched that Duke Carolina game and – Miss, 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 miss. Yeah, it, I think it's you know Brady Manick could last year could pull up that slack for him. Right. Pete Nance has not shown that uh, so far. There's only two games. Two games he did really well. So we'll see. We know that's one team you really can't ever count out, but it's not looking good for him. So we saw, we heard from R.J. Davis. That was a couple weeks ago when they lost to Wake Forest. That was a tough loss. That was probably the lowest part of the season at that point. Yep. R.J. said, and it's because one thing he said was we are not consistent right now. How do they get to consistency? I mean, they know each other so well. There's so much talent on this team. They can do this, but why are they not consistent? I think that's it's, what they don't know. It's in their head. Right. I, I think, you know, a game, a game can get in your head. Right. You know what I mean? Especially with all the talk, and there was some talk of other extracurricular things going on within teammates' relationships with each other and all. All that stuff can get in your head, so we'll see. You mentioned pressure at the beginning of this. This team has a lot of pressure. They also had a lot of pressure on their backs last year in the tournament. They weren't supposed to make it as far as they did. So 
you could say this team does well under pressure. Maybe they do better with their backs against the wall and you can't get more up against the wall than they are right you, now. You really can't. I yep. cannot wait to see what they do. But let's go to our last North Carolina team, the six seeded NC State Wolfpack playing Wednesday night in the late game at 930. The Wolfpack taking on either Notre Dame or Virginia Tech. They've beaten both of those teams this season. Could easily do it again. As we look ahead to the game, head coach Kevin Keats shares his thoughts on the tournament here in Greensboro. It's listen, the Greensboro, the tournament's always been a very uh, a big success in Greensboro, and I think we all know that. I I'm a guy who grew up in Lynchburg, Virginia, and Greensboro is probably about an hour and forty five minutes away, and so I've I've always enjoyed it there. I think the 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 folks in Greensboro has always done a tremendous job putting on a good tournament. Uh, I'm glad it's there. I hope it comes back in the future. Um, I think I think it's a really good place to have it. This Under is an interesting team to me. It is underrated in my yes. opinion. Yeah. All they they've been I don't people don't talk about them with enough respect. Mm -hmm. NC State has the capability to go all the way to the ACC championship, I think. Um, if they play well together. You know, I was talking um, with a friend of mine Smith gets a lot of the accolades, you know, Travian Smith, um, but really their guard play, the other oh, guy, yeah. you know, I mean, they're really knocking it out. You get him involved the way he should be, and they can win anything. That's the thing. You've got Jarkel Joyner. That's, he's, that's, I forgot the name. Yes. He's been, I mean, he's had multiple games with 26 points. He's been incredible lately. If he keeps playing like that, I mean, the sky's the limit. The sky's the limit for this team. Plus, Jarkel Smith, plus, you got the big guy, DJ Burns. I mean, this is a team that is. Fun to watch. They've beaten Duke. They've beaten Wake Forest. They've beaten North Carolina. And they've won some big games like Miami. So this is a team that can go up against the, the top seeds here. It's interesting when we talk about Miami, and of course they are the favorite, but I looked back before we started this, I was looking at their schedule. Um, only one loss that was a pretty much, they actually lost that game. And it was Georgia Tech. It was some strange mm -hmm. outlying game, right? But look at these other ones. Duke, they lost by two. They lost to State by two. They lost to Pitt by three. And they lost to Florida State by one. All of those only by as many as three points. They could have won any of those with right. one shot. So to me, it's Miami's to lose this tournament. Yeah. And that's the beauty of this whole thing. It can be any night. It could be any guy's night. And uh, we will just see what happens here. I'm excited. It's the week. I'm very excited. Stick with us on air, online. We will bring you everything you need to know ACC tournament.